Hey everybody, it's Craig Fitzgerald from Best Ride. We went down to the Monticello Motor Club in the Catskills in New York for the International Motor Press Association test day. And we got to sample a whole lot of cars that we're gonna be showing you over the next few weeks. One of the highlights for me was this 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C. It's a mid-engine, 2,600 pound carbon fiber track day weapon. And it's amazing that this thing even came here. It's amazing to me that the car that we actually got is so freaking good. Oh my God. The engineers had to add about 92 pounds of carbon fiber to it because it wouldn't pass US crash tests without it. They also had to add two airbags to each door. That's the kind of decision that you would think would make this car a real compromise for the United States. And that once again, we were gonna get screwed out of something that the Europeans were having a blast with. But this car is so much fun. You can feel that front end just, you know, you feel all the weight in the back of it, but it's fantastic. The car we drove had the six-speed automatic transmission, and honestly, I was having so much fun with the handling in the car that I barely cared whether it was an automatic or a standard. I had plenty to pay attention to. The engine's tiny, it's only 1.7 liters, and really doesn't churn out a lot of horsepower. It's 237 horsepower. In the straights, cars with a lot more power, cars with V8s and V10s and all that kind of thing, they're gonna reel this car right in. But once you hit the corners with this car, I really haven't driven a car that felt so good in the corners. The steering's unassisted, and it's high effort uh, at slow speeds. It's not you know, impossible to drive, but you do have to put some effort in to turn the wheel. That is a riot. Oh, I love it. You turn the wick up a little bit, and it's so direct. The steering's more of like a mental exercise than it is a physical exercise. The exhaust, it's so, so good. I have no idea how they got this thing to be street legal. Uh, it just sounds so fantastic. It sounds like a real, you know, it sounds like a race car. It's fantastic. I've driven a handful of really tiny track-oriented race cars like this before. The Lotus Exige was one of those cars. And I love that car. I really thought it was a blast. But this car really feels like it's put together by a manufacturer instead of just like a father and son team who are building cars in their garage. There isn't much to say about the inside of the car except for that it's really tight, really narrow. You can't carry any luggage in it. It's really just meant to be driven really fast on a racetrack. The greatest thing I can say about this car is that every single time I turned the wheel, it made me laugh. Awesome. I don't know how much yeah. better I can get with an automobile. Yeah. you're watching, I absolutely love this car. Uh, the 4C just made me laugh every time I turned the wheel. Every time I hit a corner, I was like, I was in hysterics. I don't really know what to say about a car that's better than that. It's, it's just hilarious to drive. It's so much fun. I cannot wait to drive it again. This thing is unbelievable. What a blast. Oh my God. That soundtrack is incredible too. <laughs>